Hey guys, it's Brie with Calafia Candle Company and today's video is going to be another studio vlog style video. I have a lot to get done today and just this week in general, so I figured I would take you guys along with me. I hope you enjoy the video. I have my office assistant in here ready to start her shift. So I kind of have a lot going on at once right now. Um, these are candles that I poured last night for a collab that's going live next week. So I need to get those finished up today. I just have to trim the wicks, heat gun the tops, and label them, and then get them packaged up and ready to be shipped out. Today is Wednesday, and I was hoping to have them shipped out by Friday, so I think I'll actually be able to do that tomorrow, so that's awesome. Being ahead of schedule on that. Um, I will post about these when they go live on Instagram, but this is a special blend for a client and they smell amazing. And then I have my spring jars all sealed and ready for wax. I just need to pour those and I'm hoping to get them completely finished today because I am launching my spring collection on Friday. So I need to take pictures of them and put that all up on the website and get ready for that to launch. I did make wax melts and just a few room and linen sprays um, because these are pretty easy to make and I just made a couple for now so if these sell out then I can make more but I didn't want to waste the jars for sort of like a limited edition scent so I only made two of each scent for now and then if they sell out I can just easily make more but this is one of my spring scents for new and it's a blend of honeysuckle, pear, and lemongrass. And actually both of these spring scents are sort of my first blends, I guess you can say. I've always just used one fragrance for each thing that I make. Um, so both of these scents were blends, which is new to me. That is something I wanted to try this year. So I figured I'd give it a shot with the spring collection. And this one is Bloom. It is Rose, White Tea, and Floral Musk. And I think that both of these smell so, so good. Um, here's the wax melts too. I added a little design too on the labels just to make it a little bit more springy. This one I really, really love. I actually am contemplating after the spring collection is over adding that into my signature collection because i just love that scent so much so we'll see about that but that is what i have going on today oh and i have been working on making the faux wood lids so these are actually for that collab with the pink jars she requested lids so i need to finish painting those too i have Let's see, what is that for? That's 12 more to do. Um, but yeah, I just love how these are turning out. I will eventually do this for my own collection. I just am so busy right now. I'm just trying to get through these next couple things and then I'll be able to start focusing on these for my candles. I do have a couple orders to package as well and take to the post office today and I have kind of changed up the way that I package my concrete candles just to make them look a little bit nicer. Um, so I will show you guys that, what I'm doing with that now. And I think that's actually gonna be the first thing that I do today so I can get those over to the post office and they can be on their way to the customers. Remember my organizing my office video? Um, yeah, what happened? <laughs> it's a little bit of a mess right now. But I did wanna show you this is um, the new candle packaging and how it looks in the shipping box. So it just looks a little bit more organized and neater in my opinion. So I'll show you in detail how I packaged those on the next order. And I cannot stand this box. These are the Amazon boxes. I do have some left of this size box, which is a 10 by 10 by 10. So I'm trying to use them up. I do have Uline ones ready to go as well, but they're just really thin and flimsy. I don't think, I mean, nothing's gonna break in there as long as it's packaged well on the inside but the Uline ones are just much better quality. I'll show you a side-by-side -side actually. So on the right is the Amazon box and then on the left is the Uline one. And this is the 10 by 10 by 10. 
but you can just see the difference in thickness. The Uline ones are just much better quality. They really stay sturdy and the Amazon ones are just so thin and flimsy. So I have this much left to use up of those and then I'll, I'll move on to these guys. But I guess I could use the Uline ones right now, but I just don't want to waste those. So I figured I might as well use them. And I do have a little bit more room in here because I am going to be adding two concrete trays to this package as well. And then it will be ready to go. So this is what I'm using now to package my concrete candles. This is a craft gift box and the size is four by four by four. And this works perfectly for the three inch tulip candle and leaves enough room for cushioning around the sides. Um, I did get this specific one from Nashville Wraps, but I also just ordered more on Uline, so you can get them at a bunch of different retailers. Um, but I think it really just elevates the packaging, and there's also just tons of possibilities here to add more branding. Um, so you can add like a sticker or a label or stamp, which is what I've been doing. I've just been taking a logo stamp. I'll have this one linked down below, but this is from Zazzle. And I've just been using it on the front of the box in the middle here. And it just adds a nice little piece of branding. And I think it just looks really nice. And then I'll go ahead and show you how I've been packaging everything together. So they are really easy to put together. I just kind of fold everything down on the seams. And then you just tuck these bottom pieces in. And what I've been using on the inside of these is crinkle paper. When I first started, I ordered a big box of crinkle paper from Uline. And it's just been sitting to the side because I didn't end up using it for anything. Um, so it actually comes in handy for this. So I go ahead and put a little bit of that on the bottom. Make like a little nest for the candle. And then I've been using my eco bubble wrap, but just kind of doing like a single layer to fit around the candle. And I like to cut it because I can never rip it neatly. And then I already have my dust cover on the candle and this person ordered the Miramar concrete candle. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap it up. And it's not gonna be perfect, but that's okay. Let's just, we'll just protect it. And then I've been putting it in the box and I've just been taking more crinkle paper kind of in the corners, but you can also use like packing peanuts or whatever you're using as your packaging material. Okay, so that's pretty good. So I'll go ahead and fold down the sides and then fold the top down. And there we go. We have a concrete candle securely packaged. And then of course, when this goes in the shipping box, I'll put packing peanuts around it as well. So it's gonna be really cushioned now and it just has a little bit neater packaging. She always knows she gets to come to the post office, huh? Alrighty, these are all ready to be labeled. And one thing I did want to point out is that I did fill these with less wax than I normally do. 
I filled these to seven ounces. I usually do 7.5 in these jars, but because I'm adding the lid to these guys, I did need to fill with a little bit less wax so that that wick wasn't getting squished. So the seven ounces works perfectly for that. So here's how they look with the lids on and I think they turned out perfect. The labels are on the other side, but I just don't want to ruin that yet since the collab doesn't go live until next week, but very happy with how they turned out. So I did the same packaging method I did earlier in the video where I put them in the gift boxes. And then I can fit six of those gift boxes really well into this box here. And this box is kind of a funny size because it's actually for canning jars. Um, so it comes with these little dividers uh, to fit like jelly jars perfectly in there. But obviously those won't work for this purpose. I did try that with the concrete jars, but they were too big for it. Um, but they actually work perfectly for this, for six of these gift boxes. And there's a little bit of room on the side for some packing peanuts, so that works out great. So it is now five o'clock and I just finished packaging up those collab candles. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this to UPS right now actually and get it sent on its way and did not get to pouring any spring candles today. Um, yeah, this took longer than I thought, so that's okay. I'll do that tomorrow and I need to get out of here. So I'm probably gonna go to the beach or something for a walk because I've been cooped up in here all day. Um, maybe tonight I'll wick my spring jars and then tomorrow just do the pouring. We'll see. I just got back home and I'm definitely wrapping up for the night. Um, it's almost seven o'clock and I'm just feeling really tired and hungry. And it's been a really, really busy last couple of weeks, which I'm so, so grateful for. But at the same time, it's really tiring and exhausting because running your own business is just you. There's nobody else to rely on. So it's a lot of work. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of energy, but it's so, so worth it. And I'm so thankful for all of the opportunities that I've had so far. And on that note, I'm going to end this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you soon in the next one.